Welcome back to another episode of Hila Zach Art with Sean. This is another painting that I did while I was in Alaska. I'm just putting down the pillow, and that's what we call the base paint in this technique. It's actually called a mock um, bloom swipe is the technique. Mock because I'm just using my regular Dutch pour recipe. So I'm just pouring the paints on here um, in puddle form on top of this pillow paint. This first color is yellow ochre. So this next color is actually burnt sienna by Artist Loft, mixed with a little bit of brushed copper by uh, Folk Art. Here we have Brilliant Yellow, also by Artist Loft. It is one of my favorite paints that's currently in my budget. So that works for me. It is a brushed antique gold, also by Folk Art. This one's got a lot of fun colors in it. I really do like the way it works out. There's a little bit more of that burnt sienna with the brushed copper mixed in. And there's some more of that yellow ochre. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking it. Yep. I want to make sure we have enough paint on there. But also that they're layered in such a way that we get the effect that I'm going for. Okay, so I'm getting ready to load up my palette knife with a white cell activator. So the cell activator is just, it is my regular um, Dutch pour mix for my uh, white, using titanium white, except that then I added another two full parts of Floetrol. So you wind up with a three to one on this with just a little bit of water. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lightly slide that white paint over the top of those colors. Thing I've got an apron on. I'm going to put a little bit more there in that other spot there that I missed. So, yeah. To my daughter, she's holding the camera here while we do this. Just a little bit of paint on there. I'll go the other direction on this, kind of see the cells we can create. If I can just scrape that on the edge of that canvas, just because, you know, I'm going to tilt most of this off. Anyway, we'll spin it off, actually. Um, so, yeah, that spinner that I'm on, that is, um, it is a Wilton, um, buy it at Walmart, cake spinner, Lazy Susan. It not actually very good for the purpose I'm using it for, but I wasn't going to buy another expensive um, spinner while I was in Alaska. So, but it, it works. It serves its purpose. All right, here I am with the chopstick. Just adding some style to this. Loop de loos in there. But you can already see the cells that are forming, even though you don't have a close up view on it. So, thank you for taking the time to watch this. I really do hope that you guys like this. Make sure you comment. Please, I really do want to hear what you guys think of the painting itself, of the technique, of my crazy, not so great editing skills and video <laughs> taping skills. Um, but also, you know, make some suggestions. Oh, here I go. We're going to pop some of those bubbles. My big torch, by the way, that's. That is way bigger than the torch I use here at home, but that's what my son-in-law picked up at the store for me. So that's what I'm using up there in Alaska. I had a really good time, but I'm so addicted to my painting that, yep, I had to paint while I was there. All right, spinning out. Let's see how well this is going to work. This is also the first time I've worked on a hexagon canvas. And 
so that is um, it's a 12 inch hexagon which means um, it, it going from flat side to flat side here I'm just making sure there's enough paint on there so that it all flows off the edges and you just measure from one flat side to the other it was about 12 inches across so this was a lot of fun to do um, she was really happy with it I, I loved it too. It's just like, it's, it's so pretty. This, I love this particular style of art, the, the acrylic flow art. I just love, I'm always amazed at the, the pieces that other people um, wind up doing, the how my pieces turn out. It just really is stunning and beautiful. I hope you guys as well so this is supposed to look like um, honey a little bit of that honeycomb still in there so don't forget to like um, if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel share with your friends even if this isn't your favorite uh, you know you never know what somebody else is gonna like um, you know, if you're like me, you get 300 and something, 400, 500 and something friends on Facebook. Um, and you never know, some of them might enjoy this. So please share and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know you watched it. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you'd like to see me do.